So after making some adjustments to the static angle of attack of the fuselage and the angle of attack on the canard, and also adjusting the uh, weight and balance, we are ready to go and do some more high-speed taxi testing. So here we are out at the local model aircraft field, and Jeff's just sort of warming up with the uh, getting the feel of the aircraft again. It's only his second time sort of taxiing it. First time we just weren't even able to get the nose to lift off at all. Um, so anyway, I'll let you watch this and, and uh, you can see how things progress. How does it feel on the in the yaw? Well, that stops it. <laughs> in the grass, that's not a bad idea. Just put it in the side of the grass. If it goes, if you take it off the side of the runway, it's probably better than taking yeah. it off the end, right? Yeah, it doesn't grab the no nose wheel as much. Uh, the problem is there's nothing to, to feel per se, because you know, you you know, you're not in it feeling the nose get light. It's more a visual thing. Well, th this this time, as you come around, give it a lot more power just for the short run, and then cut the power when you're about, you know, halfway down, and let it roll out, you know. But just see if you can get the nose off. Yeah, go for it. Cut power, cut power. Yeah. Is it nose coming off at all, you think? Well, I'd rather do that from the very start of the runway, you know? Do it from the very start of the runway so you've got the most runway to run out on, you know? Don't that sort was of an experiment to get it going real fast and then like in so front of us pulled elevator. It started to feel a little light. Well, like I say, give it the give it the maximum power that you're comfortable with right from the start. And if it's not lifting the nose by the time it gets right in front of us here, mm -hmm. kill the power and hand roll it off. So as you can see there, I had asked Jeff to cut the power just as it was getting airborne and he kept the power off, which actually was a good thing because it was getting dark and we didn't know where the aircraft might end up if we had a further problem. But it did get airborne on its own and it was flying straight, bounced again as you can see there and actually got to about eight feet high in the air. Just keep in mind that the wingspan is eight feet. So here you can see I've actually edited the video so we can get a close up frame by frame. And uh, it, it basically got airborne. So I think we figured out the problem and uh, unfortunately it sustained a little bit of damage to the nose gear and also to the winglet, but we'll have that repaired soon. And uh, we'll be doing another flight and I think this time we'll be successful. Thanks for watching.